Oh, this is this is a freaking Alaskan bullworm. Oh man, that's sweet. It's a two-in-one package. Welcome. Okay, so my blue mod is finally just about finished. And as you can see, it's beautiful. Today is the testing period where we're going to see what it looks like, what it does, what it's capable of, and all that mysterious, lovely stuff. I think it looks incredible. Wow, this is like my first time really testing it too. So this is going to be an experience. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for sure if you guys want to track the progress of epic stuff. This is my first Path of Titans mod. I didn't actually make it. My friend Chrono made it because she's amazing, but I commissioned it. I paid for it. So like, it's kind of mine. I have partial custody. For those of you that don't know, the bloop is essentially a giant sea monster cryptid-like creature based on a noise that was heard in the early 90s in the Arctic. It was recorded like 3,000 miles away, something like that. Many scientists speculate that the sound was actually just ice shifting, but ice shifting being heard 3,000 miles away just sounds insane. At least to me. I don't believe it. The actual bloop is said to only be about 1.5 times the size of a blue whale, but I love to believe that this thing exists. This sea monster kaiju version is just what happens after the internet gets its hands on you. Also, before anyone comments, I know the concept of believing in sea monsters is downright dumb as hell and just nonsense, especially disagreeing with scientists, but like, I don't know, dude. Earth is so boring. We don't have magic. We don't have monsters. We don't have nothing. Just let me have this. I'm clinging into a little bit of mythological epicness around here. All right, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. Also, one thing I probably should have said, the damage and stuff like that may look generally low. I asked the mod developer about it, a very talented person, but she said that basically those are just how we, like, they just custom make that. It doesn't reflect the creature's actual damage in any way, which was very confusing. So, like, this does need to be updated, but it doesn't mean that it's not super strong. It still might be godly strong. It just shows it as weak. It's kind of confusing. The whole process is very confusing. All right, so here we are. Oh, we're adorable. I mean, we're extremely ugly, but like in the most adorable sense. Every visualization of this guy has his mouth wide open. So if anyone's like, why is it, like have its mouth open like a freaking pervert staring at a pair of boobs. It's just, it looks like that. It's just his face. But it's beautiful, you know, all creatures are beautiful. Also, to everyone who was concerned about me stealing the art for this, a lot of people were concerned about that. We literally, the mod dev contacted the actual creator of Bloop. I showed everyone proof in my Discord that he messaged us saying it's totally okay and he's a fan of the mod, so we're all good. Okay, so this sucker is just gonna grow no matter what. Oh my god, it's getting so freaking big though. So I probably, I was gonna do missions to grow up. I didn't realize you could make yourself... Like, I haven't turned down so much, and we're still passive growing like crazy. Literally barely have enough time to get to the deep water. Oh my god, it's magnificent! I suppose I should try and kill some turtles and stuff, make sure it does damage before we add it to the actual game. There, that little shark right there. It's so little compared to us! Come here, you little bastard! I feel like I gotta line it up right with the mouth, which is gonna be difficult. Now, I was supposed to add this to the game like a month and a half ago, but... I thought Path of Titans... Oh, yeah, it died for sure. Okay, good. So it does damage. We can't really test how much damage it does till it's in-game, but... Because you can't, like, upload private mods and play with them with people. It could only be public ones. Which was a big setback, not gonna lie. Eat the little shark. Where's your face at, buddy? What are we looking at over here? Oh, look at him backing up. His little flippers kicked into reverse mode. That's adorable. That's so cool. I haven't actually seen the animations for it yet. It's actually really freaking beautiful. I am concerned why I can't devour the shark over here, though. Oh my god, we're only getting bigger. Okay, so now we're in adults. So, what am I doing? So, this is as big as we shall get. I actually completely forgot the move as we gave it as well. So, relative to that little shark in front of us, that's basically how, like, you could compare it to the size of other dinosaurs for now. Although, I do have this photo from the mod dev of it compared next to a T-Rex. So, as you can see, it's freaking jimungus dude like it's going to be crazy probably difficult to navigate okay so eating the shark is a bit of an issue that does need to be fixed unless i'm just an idiot i'm definitely lining its face up with it dude oh my god look at that thing's face good lord that feels like lined up enough so we'll note that for sure although this thing's probably only going to need to eat like every great moon or something like that. that's like a sea monster they're not they're not known for like commonly indulging Oh my god, I'm pretty sure we gave it the ability to flop on land too. I was It's like there's so many custom animations you need for Path of Titans. So I said this would be out a month and a half ago and then it's not because I did not realize how complex Path of Titans is. 
Oh my god, he's fantastic. He's sh moving on the land. Oh my god, this thing has so much land speed. Oh my god, this would destroy everything. This is so not getting added to any server that has any remote realism. Look how much freaking... We're not even barely stamina training or oxygen training. I could go far inland, dude. Oh, this is... This is a freaking Alaskan bullworm. Oh man, that's sweet. It's a two-in-one package. No way. In fact, oddly enough, it's literally faster on land than it is in the water. Like, you're, it's more logical to move on land. I'm going to continue to do it. I want to see, like, what this thing could do on land. This was sort of my concern was that they wouldn't add it to, like, I was like, they're not going to add it to your favorite servers, Johnny. There's no way. No one shares your love with Bloop. To everyone else, it's, like, some dumb trendy sea creature type thing, but... I don't know. I love the possible mysteries of creatures existing. Plus, the literal, the actual bloop is supposed to be only 1.5 times the size of a blue whale, which isn't that insane if you think about it. This one was just because YouTube went freaking ape buck wild with the idea and turned it into a kaiju, which I'm all for. I love kaiju also. Trees. Trees will keep us from getting far. Trees shall contain us to our oceany prison. Dude, I just, I'm under like... You can just hold still long enough to no. <laughs> I was like, what if we hold still for so long, nobody even notices us, and then we're just chilling? Oh my god. But no, I think no matter what, someone's eventually gonna spot us. Dude, I'm gonna take a nap on the beach. We can do it. Oh my god, no matter the sea creature, trying to get it to fall asleep is so freaking impossible in this game. Look, we're not even losing oxygen anymore. What? That's insane. Okay, that's something we need to note for sure. All damage. Who would have thunk it'd be a thing? Not me. Well, I guess when you're freaking... Oh, man, it's so beautiful. All right, Brad Pitt, let's go see what else you can do. I don't actually know this map. I downloaded it because it looked ocean-y. I foolishly thought this would be an ocean-focused creature. And now see it's meant for the land. Let's go check out the land. Wan Gondwa. Wow, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I don't think I ever fully read it. You can't spawn me in sea caves. I'll never get out of there. Oh, you don't know what you've done. Look at him trying to fit on Jesus Christ. What, in the Star Wars moon monster? Look at him slithering out of there. Oh, yes, we got out. Okay, sweet. Wow, I almost thought I was going to run out of stamina. I, was, I gotta get to land. I forgot I'm actually meant for the ocean. I don't know. Honestly, I think. what do you guys think about the crawling on land thing? Surely that shouldn't be a thing. But also, they'll never realistically get into... They'll never get too far inland because they can't go past trees. Trees stop them. But if it's one of those servers where the admins teleport them, so I guess you just can't teleport. Because a lot of the times, a lot of servers, admins will teleport sea creatures into here or into Crater Lake or wherever just so they could exist there. Because there's no other way for them to get there. But maybe, like, I've been pretty cool if they added it to some servers and the admins just didn't teleport this thing inland because this sucker crawls on land. It's going to devastate the server. I'm very excited to see how the community has fun with it. I mean, if anyone does. I'm assuming some YouTubers will do some, like, events with it with their community. It's pretty beautiful. It's nice to contribute to the Path of Titans community, even if no one else likes this thing. In my brain, I did, because, I don't know, I feel like so many mod developers put so much time and effort to their stuff, and we just get to use it. Woza! Regardless of it being piss yellow down here, it is surely magnificent. Like, it blends in so much. You know what? I've I've been so lost in this thing's beauty, I haven't actually checked out its abilities yet. Like a damn this is I'm having a lot of fun with this creation. Go to sleep, bitch! Oh look at him, he curls up with his tail and his he's all adorable with his big mouth open. He's actually monstrous as hell. And there he goes rolling over to sleep. Stuff sleeping in this game is so cute. I think someone was mentioning, like, if, if there was a way to make it so they could swim into its mouth like little critters, but there's, like, a, a freaking... What's the damn word? Like, a meshing issue? I don't know. It's something with the models. It's just not necessarily possible yet, I don't think, but it would be so cool. I love the way this guy looks. Okay, let's go check out... Now, abilities, it doesn't have that much, I don't think, because it's... We were trying to make it, like, accurate. Plus, I don't know, we're just kind of new to modding Path of Titans. So it has bites and then crushing bite, charge up attack and inflict damage based on how long it's held. You bitch. Oh, God. It has spin, increased movement speed, decreased attack. It actually looks like it could a tail attack, 360 spin tail attack. That's pretty sweet. No legs category, which makes sense. It has no feet. I feel like we should definitely add some stuff to this. I don't know. I'd probably have to recommission them all, but I'm super down because... 
I don't know, I want the creature to be cool for anyone who does want to play with it. But comment down below ideas for it. Because I think, like the Deanna where the Sarko just got like a new ability to grab onto or grab stuff, but what, what I was hoping for was some sort of Kirby effect where it just kind of like breathes in and sucks stuff in, but it has to exist in the dev kit or like whatever version, whatever they have for developing. Like it has to exist in the game. And as far as I can tell, nothing has that, that Kirby ability to just suck stuff in. But I think I did just find another issue with the creature. There's places where he doesn't need trees and it's specifically, wait, I thought we were up here. Where the hell am I? What the shit? All right, I think we could still get pretty freaking far though. But the trip, like it's just the forest that blocks us in. Okay, so we're not even losing oxygen, in fact, anymore. At this point, we're basically a sea creature. I think it was modeled or like, like whatever the, like it used a Mosasaur for its stats or something like that. Oh God! I don't know, it used some kind of, oh sh You know what? It looks like the, the issue may be self-fixing. That was the fall damage thing again though. Okay, so fall damage needs to be fixed. Noted, duly noted right there. What have you done to me? Fall damage for sure. It needs to be easier to pick stuff up or grab stuff or eat stuff. Even if it doesn't need to eat because you will need to complete quests. It may, it may need to fix this. I'm so on the edge. I, I, I don't think anyone else is gonna want this. But as you can probably tell, I'm torn because I love it. And being able to crawl across the land like a giant freaking Alaskan bullworm from SpongeBob. Oh my God, I'm blinded by an eyelash. Hoisted by my own petard. But I don't know. I feel like this moving across the landscape would be the scariest shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would you even do? I guess run away. Luckily, everything could run away, but I don't think everything could run away. I don't think Sauropod, because it's not slowing down. It's not losing any stamina. Maybe that's what we could do. I think the stamina is bugged. We just fixed the stamina to where it can't just kind of haul ass across the landscape forever. Where did I go? Yeah, maybe it just needs like a fat stamina update. So we can only move in little bursts across the land. Because as fun as that would be, it would be kind of, because sauropods would run out of stamina trying to escape, a lot of stuff would die. But damn, it would be awesome. Oh God, I just, maybe we just leave it like this and we just have it be a big unstoppable land monster that everyone has to run away from. And then if they don't want it, they don't have to add it to their game. Yeah, dude, do what makes you happy, Johnny. Why do you try to try to be a people pleaser? Life's short. I want a giant freaking Alaskan bullworm from SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. Hell yeah. Well, what else should we add to it then? Give it wings and a big old No, 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 I gotta reel it in. All in all, I freaking love this thing like crazy, but posting this video has only raised more questions about what we should do with it. We gotta fix the fall damage issue for sure. I wouldn't mind being a little bit faster in the water. Like, yeah, we should be a little bit faster. Like, I, we're supposed to be slow moving as a kaiju, but this rather wouldn't even be enjoyable going this slow the whole time. As for combat and survival and other epicness, I shall figure that out once the mod goes public and I'll find a server that added it to it. Hopefully there's at least one. I mean, what's wrong with the ocean being a lot scarier than it was before, you know? It's a prehistoric ocean. And there's some amazing sea creature mods coming, but they're still in the works. So like until then, you know what I'm saying? Either way, I'm so freaking happy with this thing coming and I can't wait for you guys to experience disastrous situations with it. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.